This is the Music History Today podcast for June 25th. On today's show, an iconic album to an iconic 80s movie from an iconic performer debuts. Two iconic songs are recorded on the exact same day. And, unfortunately, an iconic king passes away. First up, though. On this date in 1951, Arthur Godfrey's music variety TV special premiere became the first television show to be broadcasted in color. In 1961, Elvis Presley recorded the song Little Sister. In 1964, WMCA Radio in New York City decided to play the new Beatles album A Hard Day's Night before its July release date. The clamor for the new album forced the record label to release it on June 26th instead. In 1967, the Beatles performed on the Our World TV program, which was the first global satellite television program. In 1969, Sly and the Family Stone recorded the iconic song Hot Fun in the Summertime. On that same exact day, the Hollies recorded their iconic song, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother. In 1993, Weezer signed a record contract with DGC Records, and on that same day, the Tina Turner biopic What's Love Got to Do With It was released in movie theaters. Also in 1993, England's Glastonbury Music Festival started with the Black Crows headlining that year. Speaking of Glastonbury, in 1995, a fan jumped on stage at an Elastica concert at the Glastonbury Festival and danced naked because, well, rock and roll. And probably too many drugs, but mainly rock and roll, baby. In 1996, the movie Independence Day, co-starring Mr. Will Smith, opened in movie theaters and became the number one movie for that year. In 1997, singer Sade had a warrant out for her arrest in Jamaica for failure to appear in court over charges that she failed to stop when a cop told her to. In 1999, England's Glastonbury Music Festival started with Skunk Anansi headlining. In 2004, the Glastonbury Music Festival started with Oasis headlining. In 2005, singer Sophie Ellis Bexter married bassist Richard Jones. In 2006, singer Keith Urban married actress Nicole Kidman. In 2012, CEO of Czar Entertainment and manager of Salt and Pepper and Too Short, Jimmy Henchman was indicted for a conspiracy to commit murder for allegedly ordering a hit on someone who hit his son. In 2014, Beyonce and Jay-Z started their On The Run tour. Also on that same day, England's Glastonbury Music Festival started yet again, this time with Arcade Fire headlining that year. In 2016, singer Jill Scott married her husband Mike Dobson. In 2020, the Dixie Chicks changed their name to The Chicks in response to the Black Lives Matter movement and the George Floyd murder. And in 2023, Elton John played what was billed as his final show in England, which was at, you guessed it, the Glastonbury Music Festival. In classical music, in 1821, Carl Maria von Weber premiered the piece Concert Struck in F for piano and orchestra. In 1910, Igor Stravinsky premiered the Firebird Ballet. And in 1966, Dmitry Shostakovich premiered his 13th Symphony. In theater in 1952, the Broadway show Wish You Were Here opened. In 1955, the musical Can Can closed on Broadway. In 1983, the musical Evita closed on Broadway. And in 1988, the musical Chess closed on Broadway. Even though it only lasted for 68 performances, one of the songs from that musical, One Night in Bangkok, got turned into a hit on the pop charts. The artist was Murray Head, classic 80s tune. Albums that were released on June 25th include in 1968 when Elvis Presley released Speedway, yet another movie he did. In 1971, Supertramp released Indelibly Stamped. In 1973, Chicago released Chicago 6. Also in 1973, Aretha Franklin released Hey Now Hey, The Other Side of the Sky. In 1975, Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention released One Size Fits All. 
1976, Alice Cooper released Alice Cooper Goes to Hell. In 1980, Huey Lewis and the News released their self-titled album. In 1982, Peter Chris from KISS released Let Me Rock You. In 1984, Mike Oldfield released Discovery. And also on that same day, the album Purple Rain from the iconic 80s movie Purple Rain was released by Prince, an iconic artist. In 1987, Skinny Puppy released Cleanse Forth and Manipulate. In 1990, Deicide released their self-titled album, and Dusty Springfield released Reputation. In 1991, Crystal Waters released Surprise, the Moody Blues released Keys to the Kingdom, and Bonnie Raitt released her classic, Luck of the Draw. In 1996, Jay-Z released Reasonable Doubt, his debut. Also in 1996, Screaming Trees released Dust, King Crimson released Thrack Attack. And KISS released You Wanted the Best, You Got the Best. In 2002, Aerosmith released Classic Aerosmith, the Universal Masters Collection, and Ozzy Osbourne released Live at Budokan. And in 2013, Natalie Cole released Natalie Cole en Español, Jerry Garcia Band released Garcia Live Volume 2, and Hart released Original Album Classics. Singles that were released on June 25th, include in 1963 when The Temptations released Farewell My Love. In 1970, The Supremes released Everybody's Got the Right to Love, and Chicago released 25 or 624. In 1975, Barry White released Can't Get Enough of Your Love. In 1980, Diana Ross released her classic Upside Down, and in 2007, Rush released The Larger Bowl. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 25th include bassist Mike Kroger of Nickelback, bassist Clint Warwick of the Moody Blues, composer Gustave Charpentier, DJ Lala Anthony, DJ Mackenzie Johnson, drummer Mario Callier of the Wallflowers, Guitarist Alan Lanier of Blue Oyster Cult. Guitarist David T. Walker. Jazz artist Joe Chambers of the Chamber Brothers. Multi-instrumentalist Ian McDonald of Foreigner and also King Crimson. Rapper Candyman. Rapper D. Trinata. Rapper Nascar Olay. Singer and keyboardist David Page of Toto. Singer Eddie Floyd. Singer Harold Melvin of Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Singer John McCrea of Cake. Singer Kelly Keeling of the band Baton Rouge and also Blue Murder. Singer Chris Nava. Singer Labby Sifri. Singer Rain. Singer-songwriter extraordinaire Miss Carly Simon. Also singer-songwriter extraordinaire George Michael of solo fame and, of course, of Wham! And singer-songwriter Tim Finn of Split Ends and also Crowded House. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 25th include composer Vaclav Matias Gorecki, who passed away in 1743 at the age of 37. Composer George Philippe Telemann passed away in 1767 at the age of 86. Composer and cellist Pierre Talon passed away in 1785 at the age of 63. Composer Ernst T. Amadeus Hoffman passed away in 1822 at the age of 46. General Custer's trumpet player, John Patton, passed away during the Battle of Little Bighorn, along with General Custer and pretty much that entire regiment, in 1876. No one knows John Patton's birthday, unfortunately. Composer Hans Rott passed away in 1884 at the age of 25. Singer Lucha Reyes passed away in 1944 at the age of 38. 
Songwriter Johnny Mercer passed away in 1976 at the age of 66. Composer Andrzej Zavansky passed away in 1977 at the age of 65. And on that same day, composer Petko Steinoff passed away at the age of 80. Composer Alberto Ginastrea passed away in 1983 at the age of 67. Blues guitarist and singer Connie Pee Wee Creighton passed away in 1985 at the age of 70. Country music singer Boodlo Bryant passed away in 1987 at the age of 67. Hillel Slovak of the Red Hot Chili Peppers passed away from a drug overdose in 1988 at the age of 26. Composer Peggy Glanville Hicks passed away in 1990 at the age of 77. Composer Miroslav Klega passed away in 1993 at the age of 67. Singer Ziggy Talent of the Von Monroe Show passed away in 1997 at the age of 85. Singer, songwriter, and human rights activist Lunaeus Mataub was assassinated by the armed Islamic group GIA in 1998 at the age of 42. Music producer Arif Mardin passed away from cancer in 2006 at the age of 74. Singer Mahasti passed away in 2007 at the age of 61. Hank Medris of the Tokens passed away in 2007 at the age of 78. Entertainer Michael Jackson passed away from a heart attack during an overdose of sleep medication that was being administered to him in 2009 at the age of 50. Sky Saxon of the Seeds passed away in 2009 at the age of 71. Composer Goff Richards passed away in 2011 at the age of 66. Composer Bo Nilsson passed away in 2018 at the age of 81. And pianist and composer Marga Richter passed away in 2020 at the age of 93. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 26th, when in 1977, Elvis unknowingly says goodbye. 